In the quiet town of Fountain Green, the local post office is the heart of the community. No, not today. And getting the mail from box 162 is something that little Addie literally lives for. Then she is on my cart. You are more than welcome. <laughs> At six years old, Addie is starting to count the Christmas cards she can hang on the door sent especially to her. I got all your cards from all your friends. But there is a reason so many people are sending Addie a Christmas card. She kind of quit growing when she was three. And slowly since then, the bubbly and energetic little girl who now weighs just 23 pounds continues to struggle. She likes to laugh and have a good time and hear stories, but lately she's had a lot of days where she will just cry all day long. And even with many visits to neurologists at Primary Children's. Cerebral atrophy is just a symptom of whatever is wrong, but she is still undiagnosed. The deteriorating condition of her brain resulted last month in a devastating prognosis. They told us that she probably won't last too much longer and well they gave us roughly a year. Now with the prospect this will be Addie's last Christmas, her grandparents thought it would be nice for Addie to receive a lifetime of Christmas cards this year. She doesn't get to play with kids so we thought if everyone sent her a card we could tell her they were all her friends and it would just help make her Christmas a little bit better. And with the help of her older sisters, Shaylee and Audrey, who hang up the cards, cards for Addie and her sisters are pouring in from family, friends, and as word spreads on social media, even strangers. Hoping to get a lot so we can just cover all, all the walls for Addie. And back to the post office where, if this smile on the other side of box 162 won't warm your heart, Addie's Christmas wish for us all certainly will. Yeah. Thank you, man.